Hello, hello everyone. Hi, Karen from Texas. Is it nice there today? Uh, I want to get somewhere warm, people. I keep saying, hook me up. <laughs> hello everyone, Drina Burton here. We are making a pizza salad dressing today. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I know, it's crazy. And this is not my recipe, okay? I saw this, it really caught my eye, and I wanted to try it, and I'll explain a little bit more about that soon. A um, couple of things I want to mention before I forget. Uh, first of all, I haven't yet drawn the winner from last week. I will do that after today's video, and then I will comment on the YouTube video so that you'll know you're the winner, and then you can send me your <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> your email address for that Plant Power Dressings ebook. And I'm going to do a giveaway today as well. So stay to the end of the video for the giveaway. And that's the other thing. See, it's gone. It's gone. So we're making this pizza salad dressing. And I do need to, I really need chocolate today. I've already had some in the morning. And I, I'm going to, going to get some now. Uh, hi from Alberta. I don't see your name. Um, is it cold in Alberta? It was cold here for a few days and now it's warming up. Oh, I love these. Guys, if you don't know the midday squares, get to know them. This one's my currently my favorite flavor. Look at the little crispy goodness in that. It reminds me of the Mr. Munchy bars from Easter years ago. Does anyone remember those? Mr. Munchie, they had Rice Krispies in them, except it's not nearly as sweet and it's good for you. It's got good ingredients, really dark chocolate. Oh my gosh, my mouth's watering. I gotta have some. Mmm. Oh, can't complain. That's a good way to look at it. Mmm. So good. Mmm. These are my favorite. Mm. And I usually enjoy them a little bit in the morning. But I didn't have any this morning. I just had dark, dark chocolate. So there. I'm putting that link in the notes here, guys, in the comments. Because you can get 15% off with my code. There's no code, actually. Just link through. Um, I'm an affiliate with them because I love them so much. And I don't affiliate with a lot of brands. I love these. So there's the link. But we are making this pizza salad dressing today. And this is from the Ultimate Bundle, which I've been talking about this week. You've probably also heard it on other YouTube channels. Tammy Kramer is involved, Chef AJ, um, Plant-Based Doctors, Dr. McDougal, Dr. Furman, Dr. Barnard, um, other names in the bundle you might know, High Carb Hannah. Um, let's see who else you might know. There's so many in the bundle. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to keep track, to be honest. Uh, but those are some of the ones that just jumped to my mind. Uh, Robert Cheek is in the bundle. There's fitness plans. There's over a thousand recipes. There's meal plans, videos, seminars. Um, Kathy Hester's doing a dry seasoning um, mix and like instructions on making your own homemade mixes. Uh, there's, as I said, seminars, videos, and live calls that you can register for. So it's incredible. It's over 100 contributors or over 100 pieces of content. I think it's 111. It's it's unbelievable. Anyhow, so one of the, actually, it's one of the um, collaborators, uh, AJ collaborated with this woman, Melissa, Melissa Maris, and I think I'm pronouncing her name right. I didn't know her before. The bundle but she's involved in the raw food world and all of the recipes in the bundle are also oil free i'm going to answer a few questions about the bundle at the end because i've had a lot of questions by email so i want to get to those and i was just looking through her her ebooks because one of them is plant-based dips and dressings and i love my dips i call myself saucy a little saucy a little dippy <laughs> i use that and let them eat vegan and this pizza salad dressing popped out to me and i went like, I've never thought of doing that. And I love how creative that is. Her uh, salads and dips ebook has, it's a lot of recipes in that ebook alone. I think it's 200 pages. It's really crazy how much is in there. Um, so we're going to make this today. And I have not made it. So full disclaimer, I have not made it. I don't know what it tastes like. I'm just intrigued. So we're going to go on this journey together. 
Hi, Leah. Nice to have you here. Guys, what are you doing today? I also have a little funny story to share at the end of the video. And I think that will be the giveaway entry. You're going to share your own similar situations at home. How about that? Okay. So I have a salad ready to dress. And I've just got some greens there and some red cabbage, which I'm starting to like. And guys, I have not liked cabbage my whole life, probably because growing up in Newfoundland um, and in other areas too, uh, we ate cabbage boiled so much. And to me, it was just really stinky and had no flavor and it was awful. Um, and I don't find I can eat a lot of raw cruciferous and feel great. Uh, <laughs> it's not the easiest on my stomach, um, but I do like a little bit of shredded red cabbage and I love it for color. To me, it's like one of the most beautiful vegetables to add into a salad. It just adds the most unique color, right? There's not much that you can add to a salad with that color, except for maybe red onion, which is very, very strong for me. So I've just got some greens, red cabbage, cukes, and mini red peppers sliced. Yes, I haven't heard of a pizza salad dressing either. I, it's crazy. And she, oh, Nicole's saying red cabbage, I'm obsessed. You know, I have a, um, I'm just gonna get my dream is kind of kitchen book. I did a slaw in the book. I'm already off track, guys. Keep me on track. I'm gonna try to do the video in like 20 minutes. So, but I have a slaw in the book. And where is it? Hang on. You think you would know where your recipes are? You don't. Uh, there it is, rainbow slaw. And I wanted to create that with red cabbage because again, it's just so beautiful. I also use it in my awakened pad thai, which is, it's not a traditional pad thai um, ingredient, but it's so pretty to finish it off with. So there's my rainbow slaw. And I just, yeah, it's a beautiful color to add. And just a little bit is nice for me. Okay, so we're getting to the recipe. This is a raw recipe. So if you're not familiar with raw recipes, they use ingredients that have not been heated over. I think it's 118 degrees. Um, and all of these raw recipes are also oil free. Some contain nuts, seeds, but most of them that I saw, I didn't like, this doesn't have any nuts at all in it or, or seeds actually. I mean, you could put some in there, but it doesn't have any. Um, and really wholesome, healthy, whole ingredients really. Uh, I'm not a raw food person. And I think for a lot of people, it's a challenging diet to stay on, but I do enjoy some raw recipes. I enjoy how some raw recipes come together and the creativity and um, especially something like this. So I'm using my handy dandy blend tech jar. So this is the mini wild side. So you get, when you get a blend tech, you get a big jar like this comes with it and then they have these accessory jars and these are the best for dressings especially this dressing I don't think it's going to be a high volume dressing like I think if you were to make this in a standard blender jar you probably have to double it so um, by the way I love it when you guys give me hearts I'm just seeing hearts up there I'm like how lovely and you give me hearts I'm not even sure what I said that was worthy of hearts but it's lovely thank you um and so they're really good for small batches of things. So that's what I'm using today. And as always, I'm an affiliate with Blendtec. I think you guys know that. And um, there's 20% off if you use my code. And it's the code is in the description. It's yay-blendtec with my link. And you can get 20% off jars or anything. Okay. We are starting with, now I, I don't think I can give the measurements. I reached out to Melissa, but I only thought about doing this today and she didn't get a chance to reply to me. So I'm gonna tell you the ingredients, but I don't think I can give out the measurements just because it's not my recipe, okay? So I don't wanna offend anybody. Um, but it's sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaked because sometimes you get sun-dried tomatoes and they're really hard, mine were. Um, and these are not soaked in oil. I, apart from the even oil-free um, component. I don't like sun-dried tomatoes packed in oil. I find they just taste like the marinade too much, right? They taste a bit preserved. Um, 
comment if you know what I'm talking about. It's like what you taste is what they've been soaked in and you don't taste the tomato. So I always buy sun dried tomatoes that are dry and I look for organic because tomatoes are one of those GMO crops, right? Um, high pesticide and GMO. So I like to get organic and I got mine through nuts.com. I'm just going to show you that. So I think this is, I don't think this is a Canadian company. I'm not affiliated with them. I, I don't know if they're, I think they're US based. Some of you guys know nuts.com. I started buying from them some things during, you know, the pandemic when everything was shut down and I was looking for ingredients online. And so this is a big bag of sun-dried tomatoes, but this is organic sun-dried tomatoes and it just has sun-dried tomatoes. I'm like looking, oh my gosh, me and my eyes. So um, just look for organic sun-dried tomatoes and that's all you need. You don't need the ones in oil. If that's all you have, then what I recommend you do is drain them and rinse, 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 rinse to get as much of that marinade off and then pat dry. They're US based. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. So they were kind of new to me. I like their marketing is kind of cute. And they have a lot of junk on the site too. Like you can get raw um, nuts. You can get freeze dried organic strawberries and that kind of thing, which is really cool. They do have a lot of candy and stuff. So you have to kind of filter through and find the, you know, the things you want to get. So sun dried tomatoes and dates. Uh, there's a couple of dates in here. Can you guys see the blender? I don't think so. I just need a little drink. I've been getting back into hot yoga, which I was out of for a long time again because of the pandemic. And also I had some injuries in my shoulder and elbow and I love hot yoga. I just love the heat, uh, but you sure need a lot of fluid after Like you really need a lot of water. And I did a class this morning, which I loved. Okay. See how quickly I get off base. So the sun dried tomatoes are in there and the dates and then a little bit of raw tomatoes. Now I just want to show you when I, when I use raw tomatoes, I like to squeeze out the seeds. I find the seeds are the part of the tomato that tastes kind of bitter. And I don't love raw tomatoes. So if I use them, I just squeeze out the seeds and the juices and then use the tomato itself. So that's what I did there. I just have them to get the seeds out. If you don't mind them, you could just put the whole tomato in there. And then some dried oregano, you could use fresh. She had fresh as an option in the recipe, but I think oregano is really gonna give it that pizza taste, right? That's kind of the, the, the aroma that you associate with pizza comes from the oregano in the sauce very much. Some pineapples, I thought this was a really cool ingredient in the dressing. Not only is it gonna sweeten it with the dates, but it gives it that, I mean, either you love pineapple on a pizza or you don't, but it gives it that kind of, you know, cool pineapple flavor on pizza and it's naturally sweetening it. So I just thought that was brilliant. Pineapple, what else we got here? Um, some garlic. Now I'm not using a lot of garlic because this is a salad dressing and it's raw and the garlic is not gonna be cooked. So I don't wanna just have that garlic overpower. So I'm using a small clove, but you can use more if you want. Just checking through the ingredients, dates, pineapple, tomatoes, garlic, um, fresh basil, which we're adding after we blend and some pepper. And you can add some, the note in the recipe is to add some crushed red pepper if you like. So like red pepper flakes. I'm gonna add just a little. I got this at the farmer's market in the summer and it's so fresh, but I'm not sure I'll ever get through it. <laughs> Before it goes stale, it's a lot of crushed red pepper. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit because I don't like things too, too spicy. And then it doesn't say how much water. Oh, and it's a little bit of lemon juice. It doesn't say how, or lime juice, but I'm using lemon because I don't have lime. It doesn't say how much water. It's just, I think, to your preference. There. Okay, I'm gonna blend this. It's gonna be noisy for a minute, but that's, that's how it goes. All right, let's see how this, this goes. Okay, adding some water. Yep, need more. I'm just adding. 
add some more. It's probably, I'm probably using maybe a third of a cup. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I have to smell things right away. It smells amazing. I'm gonna use just a tiny bit more water and then I'm gonna add the basil and show you guys. So this bundle that this comes from, I think if you haven't heard about it, um, and if you're on my newsletter list, I sent out um, updates on it too. So it's over 111 pieces of content, as I mentioned, or it's 111 pieces of content. Um, includes the doctor's content, over a thousand recipes, meal plans, and it's $49. And it's over $4,600 worth of content for $49. And the thing, oh, I'll answer that in a minute. I'm going to get to some questions. Okay. Okay, now I'm adding in the basil and it says to just pulse it, which I love that idea because then it keeps the color vibrant and doesn't break down the basil too much. So you're just pulsing it in. So I want just a touch more water. And I know it's going to thicken up a bit once you've refrigerated, right? Guys, this smells fantastic. Now, it's a raw recipe, and she hasn't added any salt, probably because the sun-dried tomatoes are going to offer salt, like a salty flavor in the dressing. But feel free to add some if you want. I might add a little miso. Um, I might add a bit of salt. Okay, just a little tiny taste, which is not going to taste good after having chocolate, but that is wildly good. Cool, so cool. Okay, for me, I need a tiny bit more sweetener. So what I'm gonna do actually, and this involves my story, is that a little of the pineapple juice. Because you always have a little pineapple juice when you cut pineapple, unless you're using frozen. And I am gonna add a touch of salt because to me, it benefits from just a little bit to balance the flavors. I think my daughter, Charlotte, is gonna love this. There, and I'm gonna pour this into a jar. I gotta get everything out. I specifically didn't wear a white shirt today because I knew it would get splattered. I'm like, I really wanted to wear white, but I was like, nah, I wear white when I'm making. I've been working on a sweet potato ice cream mm, using white, a yellow sweet potato. So maybe when I do that, Okay, and here's the dressing. It's got some consistency. It's not super thin. It actually has more volume than I expected to. I think because the water measurement wasn't there. So I didn't know how much it was going to need and use. And we're just gonna get a spoon to show you. Okay, there's the dressing. Can you see it? And guys, I love the pineapple in it is my favorite thing. You could also use fresh oregano. I'm going to do a little, a little, a little, a little, a little over the cucumbers. I don't want to put it on all of the salad just yet because we'll have this with dinner tonight. And just show you. There. I'm so jazzed with this. Isn't that cool? It really, it really smells like pizza sauce. It does. But, uh, you know, a, a quite a fresh, healthy version of it. The thing is with this dressing, I'm loving the idea of using this. I don't want to get, I got to wipe up here. I got dressing everywhere. I'm very messy guys. You have no idea. Okay. I love the idea of using this dressing on pasta, right? Think of hot pasta and tossing the dressing into that. Oh, that'd be really good. Drizzle on hot potatoes, like cooked potatoes, hot quinoa, sweet potatoes, all of those things I think would be really good. You could also make a bean salad with it. Think of, I'm, I'm, I've got all these ideas in my head now, starting with a base of like chickpeas, adding some avocado, some fresh basil, uh, maybe cucumber, uh, like in the summer, wouldn't that be good, right? So there it is, pizza salad dressing, and it's from Melissa Maris's plant-based 
Dips and Dressings ebook in the bundle. And I'm going to answer some questions about the bundle now and stay tuned for the um, giveaway as well. And the um, silly idea I have for a giveaway. Okay, so just going to see if there's any ideas or any questions. Sorry. Uh, Cindy, I did get them shipped to my house. Yes, um, it was, I got a box. This is from nuts.com. I got a box of some staples, right? So I think I got dates, some dried tomatoes, some dried fruit. They have organic freeze-dried strawberries, but every time I go on the site, they're sold out. Every time. I really like to get them. Um, and they were pretty decent to order from, too, because I ordered dried apricots, and I thought they were awful. They were really hard. And another dried fruit. And I told them I wasn't very pleased. Like, they weren't good quality. And they said, you know, we'll credit you, and you can use it for another order. So I thought that was really good. Uh, but again, I'm not affiliated with them. Just, you know, place that order. And um, yeah. Okay, let's just see if there's any other ideas. Yeah. Or questions. I keep saying ideas. I think because I have ideas in my mind. Okay, so I've had a few questions about the bundle. And Cindy, I know, has the bundle. And um, so having like people who've purchased it, um, it's helpful because then sometimes they ask you questions after, right? So I've had some questions about uh, how big the file is and how to download it because it is there's a lot of downloads so when you buy the bundle you can download all of it or you can download components right so if maybe you already have some of the ebooks or maybe um, you know you're not really interested in say a weightlifting program there's yoga and meditation oh yeah there's a few other things that I found really interesting um, some information about um, food allergies and um, your gut biome, right? Like your healthy gut, uh, inflammation, all of those things. So if you only want to pick and choose, you can download separate things. You don't get one huge file with everything. It's downloads. And also because some things are videos or courses, so it's a different format. And so if you want to download everything or a lot of things, um, a great way to do so is to use a flash drive because then you have everything on the flash drive and you know where it is. You get like seven downloads, I think. Yeah, seven downloads of the content. So you want to have it and know where to find it because that's the worst thing with <laughs> these digital products is we download them and then sometimes we can't find them, right? So if you put it on a flash drive, then that's an easy place to find it. Um, and then some people have asked um, when it will be available again. So this is a once a year bundle to my knowledge. So it won't be available again until next year and the content will be different. So some bundles, they allow you to use the same products again. This one is saying you need a new product. So the information that you're getting this year and the digital products, they won't be available again. Like you buy it now and then it's gone and then next year it's going to be different content. Okay. So that's how that works. Um, and then I think I have, what was the other question I had? Um, I think there was something else that may come to me. It's gone for now. And Cindy saying, yes, she, they just downloaded it and still have to download the components. It's an amazing deal. It really is. I mean, if you were to get three eBooks, that would probably cost you 49 in most cases. Uh, my ebooks are, if three of my ebooks are in there, and that's over about $20. So when you think of the savings, right, and what you're getting uh, in terms of meal plans, recipes alone, it's over a thousand. Um, yeah, so that's it. And this, I'm going to, ooh, I get more to drizzle out. There we go. And um, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to keep using this dressing. I think it would make an excellent pasta salad too. Oh, in the summer, that would be amazing, pasta salad. I wish you could smell it because it really does smell like pizza. That's crazy. I just thought that's one of the most creative recipes I've seen. So props to you, Melissa. And, okay, here's our giveaway. I've done a giveaway of these before, but I want to do them again because it's so fun. So it's these laptop stickers that I had done for the release of Drina's Kind Kitchen. And you can use them on water bottles, but I love them on the computer. 
We have Plant Powered, Kind Kitchen, Use Your Bean. One is, is a food group t-shirt because I had those printed at one time. And of course, tea and chocolate. What, what? So I'm going to give away two sets of these and I'll just pop them in the mail to you. And I want to tell you, so today I was getting the pineapple for the dressing and I had some leftover and I just popped it in this container in the fridge. And so someone came down and ate it and just left the container in the fridge. I'm like, why can't you put the container in the dishwasher or in the sink? Now, mind you, I was able to use the juice, so it worked to my benefit this time. But I can't tell you how many times I go to the fridge and open a container of, say, like tofu that I've done, batch cooked, and there's like one piece in the container. Or, um, you know, someone has popcorn, a bag of popcorn, and they, they put the chip clip on it again, and then it's up in the cupboard, and there's like nothing in it. So guys, share your story. Okay. I know the husband, yeah, it would be, except he doesn't really eat raw pineapple, but like usually it's him or Charlotte. I think it was Charlotte. She does that all the time. Um, so you guys can share your similar stories or anything. Just comment, just comment after the video, not on the chat here. I love seeing your comments, but you can comment on the YouTube comments after and please like and subscribe on YouTube. So just, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Comment after the video and share your, your story about people who do this kind of thing or anything, uh, or your sock heaven collection. Should we talk about that for a minute? I have a bucket of missing socks. Honestly, I do think they get caught up in pillowcases or towels or something. I have a bucket of individual socks and every week or so I'll like pull them out and go, okay, can I find a match? I maybe get two matches. So yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So that is it guys for me today. Um, I wanted to pop on today because tomorrow I'm teaching yoga. And so I wouldn't be able to get the video done tomorrow. And yeah, and the bundle is only on for two more days. So pop over. The link is in my description but you know what i'll also pop it in the chat here and there's no coupon code or anything all you need is to link through and there's and you're not even committed to have to like buy the link the minute you go through you can just look at it and see if the products are what you know if it's of value to you so there's the bundle link in the chat and you can link through and just kind of peruse through see what you think and uh, get the deal before it is gone for another year. And it will be different next year as well, as I mentioned. Okay, that is it, guys. Have a really nice end of your Sunday. And I will see you maybe later this week. Oh, 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 the breakfast recipe is now posted on my site, the one that won. I'm going to share on Facebook and everything later today. But you guys were voting for either the lemon poppy seed muffins the potato cauliflower scramble, the avocado toast, and the pumpkin steel cut oats. So the winning recipe is on my site now. So if you hop over, you'll see it. Mm -hmm. It's the most recent blog post, okay? All right, guys, have a good day. Thanks, Cindy, for joining. Thank you, Leah, and everybody for joining. I don't oh, see your, some of your names on Facebook, but thank you, everyone, for joining. And Lynn, hi there, just seeing you. And um, yeah, have a great day, guys. Okay, see you.